It's only a matter of weeks before the main GCSE period begins, with some exams being taken earlier over the next few days. As final revision sessions are crammed in, the pressure is on for Year 11s. OK, the exam starts at 1.30. 1.30 means a 1.30 start. The exam is 2 hours and 15 minutes. Remember, you As Miss Pace briefs the top English set about exam details, Nat home. is panicking. She was devastated with the E she got in her English mock and is determined to do better in the real thing. Because of my mock result, because it was so rubbish, I just wanted to like push myself to do better and I wanted to show everyone else I could do better than that as well. It's like people that I used to sit with were moaning that they'd got bees and saying, oh, my mum's going to go mad and everything. And then when I got my result, it was just... I couldn't believe it. Miss Pace has set some practice exam questions in the lesson, but Nat is confused. Mm -hmm. Miss Wright, are we meant to be thinking of stuff like it? What, what we think? That isn't, that's what we're doing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's your point of right. view, isn't it? Your argument. Right. Yeah? Not ranting. He's, he's confusing me, though. Who's confusing yeah. you? Because he's done something out there. That, that doesn't mean he's right, Natalie. I know, but he's just confusing that's me. That's what happens. It's like listening in at keyholes. Don't always assume that everybody else is right. In, like, in my set, what it was, it was like top set and everyone was like getting C's and above. Whereas when I did that exam, I got an A and it was like thinking, what, what am I doing in here? I felt thick and it was like I wanted to move sets, but the teacher said, no, you stay in here, you can do better, just keep trying. So I did try harder. Or is that too ever? Or is it just not even a No, that's right? good though, I like that. Do you? Yeah. Well, thanks. You might have to change it a bit if it was... Uh... Depending on the magazine. I know, you know what I that's what I was thinking. That's, that's quite good for something more formal. One of the maths module papers is being taken tomorrow, and Mr Bennett is giving out some last-minute tips. Maths is one of Chris's favourite subjects, and he prides himself on being able to help his friends. I think I have helped a few people. I've, been, I've tried to help quite a few people this year, uh, like Adele and Michelle with the maths course, with things like that. That's 10 divided by 1. 3bc minus 4a squared Oh, we're doing this again now, aren't we? 10 divided by 1. It's 10. Let me think. No, that does mess my head. Chris is hoping for an A star in his GCSE, which makes him very popular with the ladies. 7, 8, 5, 1, 2, 5. Yes. I'll tell you what. Calculate the following, give your answers as simply as possible. I'm going to do this in my head. Don't say it like I can't do it. <coughs> Don't watch me. Would I say a thing? Don't like watch that? me. I'll stop it. Oh. Thank you. Okay. A lot of people said thanks for being my better, thanks for being such a great friend and thanks for helping me out through the year. I think, I think I'm doing it all really well, and then I'll go, that's wrong, and that's wrong, and that's wrong, and well, that's it is, wrong. I don't want you to like, finish the question off and realise you did it all wrong. It's break, and over in music, tongues are wagging, and this time it's not about exams. You've never done that. Bram's going out with Adele. No, he's going out with Adele. I'm not going out with Adele. Sean's going out with Adele, everyone! I know, I've, I've heard. <laughs> See? I heard it last night. <laughs> I don't care. He's <laughs> okay. Everyone is in shock. Sean had a very brief encounter with Adele many months ago, but they fell out over it and have not really talked since. Since last night, Sean's going out with Adele. And he said that she's not a dick, as everyone keeps thinking she is. He was the one that started. I mean, if he's happy, you're just best leaving him alone. I don't know, he was the one that started it all off, Carl, and I. Put up posters saying I hate Adele and everything. Adele from yesterday. Just went, guess what? And I went, what? Just went, I'm going out with Sean. I went, we became really, really good mates over like the last few days, and then like we met up on the internet last night. And we were chatting and everything. I don't know, we just ended up going out with each other. No, Fran and Elise said that they were sat there and not being all. I am really, really surprised actually because like about a month ago you'd have asked me what I thought of Sean and it would have been just 
bleep 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 kind of thing. But I don't know. He's dead dead sweet when he's on his own, it's just when he's with his mates. So I'll teach him. <laughs> But Michelle doesn't think so, and she should know, because she's already been out with Sean. I went out with him, and she'd spent ages having this nice, long, friendly talk with me, being a good friend, telling me, he'll just hurt you like he did everybody else, and then, then, then. He just, he thinks he's a player, and he thinks he's God's gift, and then, then, then. And it's like, oh, it's just a laugh, leave me alone. And then two minutes later, she went out, and she says, what do you think? So I went... Adele, he'll only hurt you like he did everybody else. He thinks he's a player who went over everything she said to me and then went sound familiar and she went, he's changed, he's really changed. And Michelle is not the only person who's unhappy about it. Right, you got something to tell me? I'm going out with Laura. No, who are you going out with? Adele. I didn't offer. Oh, she treats you. But Nat has another reason for hey. not being happy. Oh, we don't want the lecture, does it? We're going to get one. The thing was, for a few weeks, like, I kept noticing that, I've, like, I liked things about him. And then I, I didn't know whether to, like, say anything to him because it might wreck the friendship. And then there was just one day I thought, right, I'm just going to tell him and see what happens. And then I went in school and then someone said to me, he's seen Adele stand up. And then it's just like, oh, my God. Nat is tempted to tell Sean her feelings straight away, as is her friend Laura. The thing is, right, she's in love with Adele. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this morning? Because I didn't see this morning, Dad. I didn't know this morning. So you asked her then? Me? Last night. You asked her? You sad... Right, I'm going. I don't have to take this abuse from someone who is a person who is very friendly to me. And... Sean has no idea of Nat's feelings, and she's unable to tell him. This is just friendly advice. Yeah, no, I What's going on here? Have I lost a missed a big part of the story? Nat decides a subtle hint might be the best approach. Can I have a troll? If you want. It's not my last one, because I'm going to eat more. But Laura tells Nat subtlety is not required when dealing with Sean. I've got a maths exam on Wednesday and maybe I should do, be doing some revision now. But instead, I've been trying to get on to the internet and, um, I don't know, hopefully I'll still do well. But I, I know that I should be revising. I'm just having a slight panic because I've just tried to do a test day for the maths. And 
I couldn't do it. <laughs> There's loads of things that I know that I've done before, but when it came to doing it, I just couldn't figure out what I was supposed to be doing. So I'm having a bit of a panic. I'm trying to get the best grade possible, especially in maths, uh, because the teacher has expected me to get an A star. It's the afternoon of the maths GCSE paper, and Mr. Bennett is making last minute preparations in the exam hall. I've got to revise my old stuff. <laughs> Chris is still not revising himself. Instead, he's helping his friend Natalie. If it was like that, and it gave you that, that, and asked you to find out that. What do you use? What? Uh, uh, Costco. <laughs> didn't help me. I knew it. It didn't help me. I needed to know the stuff that was on the piece of paper that I was learning. I didn't regret doing it at all. Um, helped one of my mates out. That's all, that's all I needed to know. I just helped one of my mates out. Um, I didn't really think about my own exam. But as Chris and his friends walk into the exam, there's one notable absentee. Sean. You've got a maths exam now, you're not in school, why are you not in? I don't care if you're feeling ill, you get into this exam and you do it. Are you dressed? Then get dressed, get in here, you've got about 15 minutes to get in here, so move it. I'll see you in here soon, quick. Sean was at home. He decided he didn't want to sit the maths paper. But after Mrs Arden's phone call, over half an hour into the exam, he arrives at school. It's likely he'll not be let in so late. I was... Look, they dragged me to school and Miss Adam said, well, you can go now. They even go in it anyway. I weren't going in it anyway, even if I was allowed. I would have gone home. Take. Get me out of bed to go in the exam. Ah. Because of exam regulations, Sean is too late to sit the paper. When I found out it was an exam, I was, I, I was, I'm not going to swear because I'm not allowed. I was annoyed, and then I thought, oh, and I got dressed and come. Yeah, but why not earlier? You needed to be here earlier. You've been in there. You can't do the exam. You've missed that unit. I didn't know. Honestly, I did not know. Right. So you missed this morning. You've missed it. But you can still do a part of your maths exam. I think what we need to do is to sit down, me and you, tomorrow morning with your exam timetable and I'll put it into English so that you know when you've got to be in school and then you will be in school on time, won't you? Yeah, because I've not had a clue when any of my GCSEs are either. <sighs> Why do you keep doing it to me, Sean? I'll definitely do the maths exam, I'm not bothered. It's just, I try new. I didn't know that I had an exam. You need maths. Any job needs maths. You've got to do it. Right, yeah. It's a piece of paper that proves you've got it. You've got to do it. Next exam. Can't miss. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. I'm sorry for missing the exam. I did come in and everything. In a little shirt, but <laughs> it's not funny, this. It's just writing a load of on a piece of paper. It's not really important, is it? Like, it's not the end of the world if you mess up on them. It's not going to ruin your life. It's the end of the day, and Adele and Sean's relationship is thriving. Despite everyone's initial reservations, the two of them are extremely happy. But Nat is still in a dilemma over whether to make a move. I do what I say to him, but I'm, I don't know. It's just that if, if, if I did get with him, then I don't think I'd like him as much. And then it's doing me idea now because I like him and, I, and I, I've not said anything. But he does know that I like him, but I don't think he knows how much. I think she should just go for it, Nina. Say, look, right, I like you. What's going on? Yeah, but I've heard that he's only, he's only using it, you know? When, when he was with her, I, I still wanted to tell him and everything. And then in the end, my mates just said, you're telling him. He's coming now, Maud. So Nat goes, with her friend's support, to tell Sean how she feels. I'm scared. What am I doing? No, I don't know. Sean is coming around the corner, and Nat plucks up the courage to tell him. What are you talking? You're medically tapped in the head. At first, it was like, oh yeah, I like him and everything. But after that, it was like, oh yeah, I do really like him. But then, when, like I was. I wanted to get him away from Adele, but then I felt tight. And then 
at one point I thought, yeah, but if, if I do get with him, then it's going to wreck the friendship and I might not like what I get. Oh, I, can't, I can't tell you. She's deranged. Nat doesn't know what to do, but meanwhile Adele has arrived. Hello? Nat's where, where determined to say something to Sean and waits oh, for Adele to go home. See you tomorrow. I'll meet you tonight, man. After seven, the... See you next Adele out of the way, the moment is right, and Nat has a chance to say something. What are you going for? She misses her opportunity and Sean is off. Her friend's patience has run out, and they run after him to break the news. One of Natalie's mates said she was going to ask me to go me on the Thursday before I started seeing Adele, and I wish she would have. Oh, look at him now, he's going... <laughs> Sean is muddled, now he knows about Nat. <laughs> but she doesn't want it to change your friendship now. She thinks that you're a dead nice lad. Then she found out that you're going out with Adele. But she doesn't want it to change your friendship. Good Just one. so that you know... Yeah, right, I know. I know I feel on top on that, but... Natalie... Natalie's going to be all pissed off now, ain't she? Ah, uh, yeah, no. Later that night, Sean picks up Adele to take her back to his home for a romantic evening. He said he's going to practice his catering skills by cooking her a special meal. The two of them settle down together, but the subject of food has not yet arisen. Adele is simply happy to spend time with Sean. Could be seven. A lot of people couldn't understand, you know, that why I was back with him, but, but I saw like the other side of him and he was dead sweet. And we'd like just, <clears throat> and we'd like just like, sit there and cuddle or something. And it, I just didn't think that was totally like Sean, but we're getting on really, really well. Sean has popped downstairs to ask his mum to get some dinner on. I said, right, can, uh, what are you going to cook for? And he says, I don't know, I said, you can't eat meat because I've been a vegetarian for years. He goes, right, well, how about spaghetti bolognese then? <laughs> She's a vegetarian, isn't it? Do you, want, do you want some steak? No. <laughs> do, do you want some pork? No. <laughs> you can't. I don't want to make a vegetarian. Whilst Sean's mum puts something in the oven, Sean tells Adele he's not cooking. I can't cook. You can cook. Brands tell me all about it. Sean! What? Adele's tea is ready. Your mum will cook. Wait for Adele. I'm busy. Salad in the fridge, Sean. You want a plate? Garlic bread needs cutting up. I'm not, not stupid. Shut up. Are you supposed to cook this? Just put it for you. Not hard to cook that, is it? Eh? Well, then you should have done it. I mean, we can take a cook it myself. You're eating all of that if you want it all. I'm even going to eat this. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I don't want to be sick. Oh, let's not even bother making a proper salad. So, what are you going to do? Just sit there? No, I'm gonna make some toast or something. Just some masala, I don't know. I'll show you. I've got some more than I don't know. Yeah, you like those right. vegetables. You should. Oh, sorry. Sorry, it doesn't look too nice. Adele is having fish pie, salad, and garlic bread, but Sean doesn't eat fish, salad, or garlic. Oh, yeah. Eventually, Sean decides on donuts and he sits down to enjoy his romantic meal with Adele. Don't even put that fish in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you're going to have? Yeah. Right. Play football. When he came and sat down with the donuts, um, I was I was dying to laugh actually, but I thought I was just going to encourage him. So I just looked really annoyed and how he's upset me and he can make it up to me later. <laughs>
Um, make it up to me another time. Uh, but I don't know. I was I was annoyed, but I just thought, well, it, it's typical Sean. This. I can be a vegetarian if you eat fish. I have to because I'm anemic. No, no, you can't be a vegetarian if you eat fish. No, she can't. No, she can't. You can ask me. Guess what time it is? <laughs> Six, well, 6 6.30 in the morning and the people who were like me, there is a 6.30 in the morning as I have just discovered. I now have to go for a shower at 6.30 in the morning because there's a revision class on at quarter to eight <laughs> for Ari and because I don't know Ari, I want to try and go to it. I think I was dropped at birth. Something dropped me on my head at birth because this is a stupid o'clock. It's 7.45 in the morning on the day of the RE exam. Mr Holt is taking his last minute revision session. He's laid on breakfast for everybody. Head girl Sally Bean is already in bright eyed and bushy tailed. Yeah, it's fairly obvious, yeah. Apart from, have you heard of Rastafarians? Hayley is late. She's not known for her early starts, but she desperately wants to do well in her RE. Like many others, Hayley hopes the session might make up for her lack of revision at home. I could have been doing a lot more at home, but I just didn't because you, you get to a point where you think, just, I don't want any more, you like, mm -hmm. you know, like, beep it, and you just, you just like, stop, I, you know, you've got your exams, like, round the corner, it's like, round the corner, just hurry up and get out of the way. You get to a point where you just want it to be over and done with. That's what, how I got anyway. One hour later, everyone is in the exam hall. The RE exam should have started. The students have been told that their exam paper is not yet ready and are nervously waiting for it to arrive. But the truth is, it already has. The students have all been entered for syllabus B, but they've sent us the syllabus A papers. So. The exams officer has just gone to phone the exam board to find out what we can do. At the moment, I have no idea because there's no papers for them to sit. They don't know that yet. Edgerton has been sent the wrong exam papers. Whilst Year 11s wait unaware in the exam hall, the school's chief examiner, Mr Martin, is trying desperately to get the correct paper from the examining board. I've had to ring the board in the emergency while the students are sat waiting to start their exam. The fax in through a paper, but unfortunately, they material that we've got, when we photocopy that, it's, uh, it's going to be virtually unreadable. Uh, so we, we are going to have to apply for special consideration for everyone. It's going to take a long time to photocopy 54 copies of this as well. Mr Holt has still not told Year 11s the truth about the whole situation. 
just gives you more time to worry or to think about things and settle settling yourselves down. When we first went in, we knew there was something... Mr Holt told us that Mr Martin had forgot to bring the papers down, so he'd gone to get them. And someone said, I've just seen him with the papers, like, outside the door. He got to the front, he opened the papers, and he saw him, like, looking round, and he ran out again. I'm like, what's going on? That was our papers. Over in the main school, Mr Martin is desperately trying to photocopy 54 copies of the newly faxed exam paper. Meanwhile, back in the hall, the examinees are getting more frustrated. So Mr Holt decides to go and find Mr Martin to see what's happening. But the students have to stay in the hall. The problem is that if, for example, at the end of this exam, in two hours' time, I'm phoning my sister and I can find out what was on the exam, because she's sitting it now, and they can do it, no, not my sister, but they can phone somebody and find out what's on the exam. So if we let them go, then exam security has been breached. Uh, what about it's going to be totally unsatisfactory because there's a lot of photographs that they've had to fax through. Reproduction is appalling, so obviously we're going to have to put in for special consideration. They reassure them that they won't suffer as a result of this. I mean, the board are accepting uh, that it's an error from their point of view. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that's in hand. But I, I mean, my main concern is that they're sitting over there now and they're doing nothing, they're getting worked up. So yeah. reassure them something's on the way. Um, the revising Yes, it was a, a good idea, and that I'll be put in special consideration for every single one of them. All right, OK. But far from revising, the majority of Year 11 students are using the time to have a good gossip and catch-up. No, we go here, sorry. Yes, you know, like I said, I felt sorry for him. <laughs> I do. He was gossiping me and my friends. He wasn't revising. He couldn't bother. No, I don't think anyone revised. No one revised that half an hour where I was waiting for the exam papers. Everyone was just talking. And then Rachel came bouncing over going, do you know what happened last night? And then it was like Adele saying, oh, do you know who asked me out? Or something. And it was like, oh, no. So I didn't get any revision done. People just talking at me from everywhere, so. It was funny, the Irene would look, because like, loads of people <laughs> were spending their time, you know, revising and stuff, but I really can't be bothered with Irene, so I just sat there talking. At last, Mr Holt tells the students the truth. Some of you may have noticed that when you came in, there were actually exam papers here. They were the wrong exam. They'd sent the wrong exam, but they are faxing through the proper exam paper. And it's being photocopied and things and resources. So you're going to sit this exam. Um, we should have started almost half an hour ago. And I'm sorry, but it was out of our control. We didn't realise till 20 past that the wrong papers were there. So until the photocopies come, um, you can revise or chat, whichever one you'd want to do. In case they're tempted to cheat, the students are only allowed to leave the hall for toilet breaks and then with a teacher. I just needed a drink, but we can't go for a drink. We're only allowed to go to the toilet. Oh, someone's gone out. I was really, really annoyed because it's like you go to an exam and you're in the frame of mind that you're about to do the exam and you've con you get self-concentrated and everything on what you're doing and then they tell you, right, um, I'm sorry, they've sent the wrong paper, you can wait an hour for the next one, for the proper one. And so we all just sat there chatting and then when the paper came it was like, oh, God, I've got to do an exam now. After a frantic hour of photocopying, sorting and stapling, Mr Martin arrives with replacement papers. Can I explain any of these? Yeah. Then, then what I would say is that yes, you can explain. So I can explain what's going yeah. on in that picture. So I'm going to have to go through a few things at the beginning. I think so, yeah, and then I'll get, get in touch with the board and tell them what we've done. You have no idea what's going on there. No. They're going to be at a disadvantage compared to the students that have got the real thing. Do you think that's from nativity? I can't. Mm. Uh, after much waiting, the exam at last is about to begin. Before we start, could I just say one or two things to you, please? First of all, uh, a sincere apology from me and also from the exam board for this, I think, major upset. Unfortunately, there are four of the pages in the exam book that have photographs and diagrams on. 
The reproduction of these, unfortunately, on the original facts was poor. Uh, clearly, therefore, you may struggle to see what is going on in some of these pictures. What I do want to reassure you over, however, is that this will not affect in any way the grade that you will get for this particular exam. I was in there for like half an hour, or uh, maybe longer. I just sat there waiting for the paper. And then when we did get the paper, I couldn't even see the pictures. <sighs> Professor X, what um, If you turn, please, I think to page five. The two pictures you are concerned with, the one at the top, which is Islam, you have a father and children with his hands like that, with their hands like that. I can't tell you what they're doing, but their hands are like that and in that position. If you look in the Christianity one, I have no idea what you can see, but we'll have a go. I think you can gather what most things on there are. You've got a camel, a deer, kangaroo, a zebra, and some other bits and bobs with a looks like a power station or factory behind it. You've got this black splodge and it's supposed to be a donkey. <laughs> I promise. Oh, it was whoosh. That really, I was so annoyed over that because I, was, I love Arita bits. And for something to happen like that, you couldn't understand the pictures. And it was saying, like, evaluate the picture. And you couldn't, you, there's no way you could because you couldn't see anything in it. It was just like this black blur because it'd been faxed through. <coughs> okay, the time is 10.06. You will finish at 12.06. Good luck. I was hoping to get a B or an A in RV, but I don't even know now because by the time all that had happened, you just sat down, he's like, right, just give me the paper. And you, it wasn't like this positive, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. It's like, just let me get through it. I can't even see half the things, fine. Nearly two hours later, the exam is almost over, and until results day, nobody will know how much the incident has affected them or their grade. The day's complications aren't over for Adele. After a morning of confusion in the exam hall, her relationship with Sean is now being tested. Nat is after him again. Adele, ignore us. They've been baggers again. Would you please? I didn't even know that I was flirting, because I'm like that anyway. Well, I'm not flirting all the time, but I'm like that with everyone. Adele is watching whilst Sean and Nat flirt, aware that there's something between them. In any way, shape, or form, my leg, get off me! Oh. I'm gay! When things were going on with him and Natalie, I thought, well, something's going on, like, they're really flirting, but they haven't actually got off with each other or anything yet. And I thought, in the end, I just thought, if he wants to be with Nat, then he'll finish me and go with her. But he wasn't finishing me with me, so I thought, I don't know, maybe they're just, she's leading him on, or whatever, just, it's just a bit of harmless fun. <laughs> The flirting continues under the watchful eye of Adele and the rest of the people in music. Jake, she fancies you. Get her. Oh, you! 
Natalie started flirting with Sean and I'm pretty sure that Sean started flirting back and I'm thinking, okay, that's not right. Uh, I didn't, I was worried about Adele really because she was happy with him. I didn't say anything to her because I didn't want to break it up. Bother me that they were, you know, flirting and everything like in front of everyone, but I don't know, in the end, I just thought, well, he can do what he wants, can't he? It didn't bother me, and I don't think anybody else really noticed either. I think everyone around the music did see that Sean started flirting with Nat, and Nat started flirting back, and just wasn't right. <laughs> I'm going to go and see it down though, if that is okay. Go on then. Yeah, I'm going to go and see it down. I know you're my mum, but you still come over and harass me. Right, right. Together we can make a change Someday it will all be over Together we can make a change Sad, and I've got it some more Wish I'm the artist to get an ace there as well I forget how many points it is But I'm going to aim to get over 50% Because if you do that then I'm cooking man So You gotta look and get get all my lucky charms together and stuff and then you After last night's final practicing, the day of the music GCSEs has arrived. Michelle and Chris are doing some desperate cramming for the listening wow. exam. What do you think I can do? Can't do that. I can do that. That's not bad. I can do Can't that. Can't do that. I can do that. I can do that. You can do that. I can just about do them. Did okay on that as well. I haven't even looked at this yet. There's no cramming for Bram and his friend Tim who are relaxing the best way they know how. Model, moods, dissonance. Whilst Adele is in a major panic. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll be fine. I don't even know any of them yet to tell me all them. Yeah. I just can't get this one. You're not going to learn anything now. <laughs> yeah. So I just set the show. If you go into an exam tense, you'll panic, you'll worry, you'll rush things as opposed to being calm. You can't change anything now. All the work's been done. All the hard work's been done. Just, just chilling. Do I look worried? But you're not the one doing the exam. It's moments before the exam begins and stress levels are mounting. 
Adele is reaching crisis point. She's now lost her rubber. What have we got my name? No, I need my rubber. Oh, I can't find any rubbers. Can't find anything. I've lost my rubbers. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Well, Mr. Randall's there, so we've not started the exams. Sally, let's get this in perspective. You get five out of thirty. You get the B. What do I need? What do I need? Right. You get approximately. You get fifteen out of thirty. You get an A. Yeah. You get a really good score that you're capable of. You get an A star now. So this is not. I'm not really capable of getting an A star. So what do I need? It doesn't matter whether you get it or not, but you are capable of it. So just chill. Sally is not the only one who's expecting to do well. Bram wants to be a professional musician and is hoping for an A star. Put your coats and bag on the side. I've got spare pens, pencils, rubbers, rulers, calculators. Right, so let's quietly, carefully, in a chill fashion, lose this way. Listen, exam went sort of alright, but I've never been too good at listening to music and going that's such a thing and that's such a thing because you know not a lot of people can do that. Well, I can't anyway. So music was fine. I've compl I've got one question wrong for facts because I thought one was one answer was classical and it wasn't. It was more nineteenth century. Just <laughs> Honestly, because Mr. Randall said he went, if anyone's got that one wrong, honestly, I laughed. I was like, oh, oh no. I was like, hee hee. <laughs> Music was probably hard, even though I did go for the all the all most of the revision sessions. It was still hard. The listening exam is over, but there's still a long way to go. Most year 11s have at least seven more subjects to sit. Sorry, let me have the writing. I don't think it's... <laughs> A. Sally's, uh, Sally's grade. A. Look, this is why I get all stressed out because everybody's telling me that I'm going to get it and then I get all stressed out. But for now, there's no more music. Oh, I'm like wrapping the yellow pages. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy we just don't need these anymore. Oh, wait, I'm doing A level. Hey! Let's go on in, man. There we go. Biology. <laughs> No more music! Oh, sure! Oh, 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 But for Adele, there's no let up. She and Michelle are last minute revising again for tomorrow's German oral, whilst love rival Nat gets down to some last minute practice for her dance exam. I don't know any of my German. Well, I know some of it, but not enough. So I think I'm gonna have to do an all nighter. And I know Rachel, Adele and Jenna are doing all nighters as well. So we're gonna be on the phone to each other, keeping each other awake. <laughs> I started at half five. Uh, not very well. I still can't do it, Michelle. How do you revise yours? Because it's just it's just not working for me. Read it and say it. Yeah, but I'm reading it and saying it. It's not working, Michelle. Michelle, don't drink that coffee idea. What I said. I'm gonna throw up any minute. I can feel it, but I don't want my mum to know I'm throwing up because she won't send me to school and I won't do my exam. But I really need to get it done. <sighs> Shall I kind of ring you back? I'm going to have to run solo. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Yes, you can. I got fun. You got everybody. It's 10 to 12 now, and I'm still not far I've really got to get this done now. Why did they put us through this? Section 3, I could do it before. And then I can't do any of it.
I'll read it, I'll say it, I'll read it again, and then I'll say it again, and then I'll say it as I'm reading it, and I'll read it as I'm saying it, and then I'll try to do it without the book, and I'll get about two words. Shan won't stop texting me, like he's just sent me a message. Please ring me, I love you Angel, from Sean. And then about five, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of kisses. Plus, he's so cute, isn't he? Tell me about it. Hey, Mum, Dad, are awake? I'm gonna get in so much trouble. What are you playing at? What? I'm just talking to Michelle. Are you on the phone to? Michelle. Hey? Michelle? Get to bloody bed. It's half past one. Right, alright. Sorry, I didn't realise the time. Alright. Now! Right. I didn't realise the time. I'm annoyed right. now. Okay, I've got to go shut up, so yeah. You can't do a full bloody exam tomorrow, half asleep. After the all-nighter revision session, the dreaded German orals have arrived. The exam's going on up here, I'm afraid, so you're going to have to use stairs again. Michelle is in next for her exam. I've got section two. Thanks. Look, I'm shaking. She knows that we stayed up all night. She might ask you for some coffee. <laughs> Have you told her that I've got coffee? Yeah, I've just been... She said you've got coffee, I'm going to leave this head and Adele's probably not. <laughs> it's all too much for Adele, and as she gets down to some last-minute cramming, boyfriend Sean is otherwise occupied with Nat. It was messed up because she goes, you're going to give me a kiss, aren't you? And I thought she was f***ing about, <laughs> really did. And then in the other room and she had a, like, the coats over her head, I thought she was and she started to go, and I was like, yeah. I like, wow. And then I just put my coat back round, and then she goes, I want another one. I was like, no. And if you see, it was crazy. as pie, if you like pie. But it was crazy. Right, you were dickhead. Where's your bag? As Nat goes off for her dance exam, Sean contemplates his infidelity. I don't want to know, but it was a friendly kiss. The thing was that day when when you're kissing, it was it was a laugh, and we were joking about it, saying, "Yeah, come on, give us a snug." And then next thing you know, it was real, and we were doing it, and it was like, huh, "What are you doing?" And then after, I did feel really tight. I couldn't even look at Adele. Adele goes to meet Sean for some last-minute encouragement. It's her oral next, and she needs a good grade because she wants to do German A-level. I really should have started my revision, like, about two weeks before all the exams had come on, at least. And I was I was upset about my German one as well because I, t I tried so hard with that, but it just wasn't going in. But I was, like, it was revising late at night. Can you As Nat waits to go into the hall, she has a lot on her mind, not least her exam. Waiting to go on the exam, I was thinking that I, th I could have done a lot more revision, but at the end of the day, I'm just going to try my best, and that's all I can do, no matter how much revision I've done. Thanks, Steve. Anyway, good luck to you all. I just went in, I thought I was really scared of like doing the paper, but I went in, I opened the paper, and I looked at the questions, it was like, oh my God, I know this anyway, just calm down now. And I did it all, answered every single question. Adele's exam has not gone quite so well. I wanted to do German A level, I didn't even sleep one night the night before my German exam. I was just like, drinking coffee all night. 
And by the time I got into the exam room, I just totally flunked it. I couldn't remember any of it. Coming up next week, Adele confronts Sean about their relationship. Well, what went on then? Nothing. Nothing. Nat moves in for the kill with a day out in Blackpool. And tears as Year 11 say goodbye to Edgerton forever. We don't want to be anonymous. Yes. Yes, yes we want to be anonymous. 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 Only joking. They're <laughs> <laughs> all muppets and all ponces. <laughs> nah, they're dead immature, the lads in our school. They are, they're, they are really immature. Yeah. Um, Girlfriend situations going out of control. I was talking to her. You know, you, if you if you burn, she bear or wanna be. Yeah. She likes you. Uh-huh. Or not. Uh-huh. So like, you get it on? I haven't had a lot my age for ages, not had a lot. No, let's say that again, right? You haven't I'm been age. out with I a lad. I haven't been out with a lad my age for ages yeah. I've always been like with older lads. Because they're more mature. Yeah, they're sense. a lot more mature and they've got cars and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say to him. What if, if I go to him, what do I say? And then you can go and sit in the pub with him, but you can't exactly go and sit in the pub with Sean, can you? Yeah. Or like running about screaming everywhere after a sniff of lager or something. Yeah. Uh, there's got something going on. That's because that's what I want you to get in. Girl, how much you buy it? No! It's easy to text them, but I don't... They're just immature, immature. they just can't... It's just one major hormone and it pisses me off. Mm. And it's just pathetic, it needs to grow up. I think that I'm in there. I don't, I'm not trying it on with her, but she might like me. What do you think we was at home? In conclusion... In conclusion of today's show, will Sean get the girl? Will Sean die? Will Brad meet his mystery contestant? Who will know? Tune in next time to... Whatever the show's called! <laughs> yeah! <laughs>